Welcome back. Have you been racking up old collectibles, toys, and keepsakes that you're sure are worth a pretty penny? Well, there's a toy road show making its way to Pittsburgh. It's called the FX Vintage Toy Road Show, and it will make three different stops throughout our area beginning on Friday. Mark Leinberger is the general manager and joins us now. So, Mark, tell us about the road show and what do you do? We are interested in buying memories. We are looking for vintage toys and dolls for children who are now adults and want to have a fond memory and a good reminder of that memory. Okay, and so how did you get started collecting toys? Because you said some of these are yours. Yes, yeah, some of these are mine. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the uh, yellow submarine you have right in front of you yeah. there, that is mine. That was given to me my, by my grandmother, and I know it's mine because she wrote my name on the side of the box. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your grandmother was a smart woman, so for something like this, what would the value be? Well, that particular one, because it's in the box, we call that mint in box. That's going to be worth about four hundred dollars. Wow! And you said this is also this is this was your brother's. This is my right? brother Richard's, and his <laughs> name is on it too. My grandmother is very practical. She wrote our names on our toys. And this robot, how much how much would that be worth? That's about one hundred and fifty dollars right now. Wow, that's cool. And so, what are some of the hot items right now for girls and boys? Well, Barbie right here is the uh, queen of the Ooh. girls collecting world. Yeah. The Barbie ponytail right here. That's the first doll that came out mm -hmm. in the nineteen sixties. And as you can see, she came out in different forms uh, throughout the 1960s and early 70s. Yeah. Another real popular uh, collectible for boys is Hot Wheels. We, these are the I small cars Hot right Wheels. here. Right. These cars are called red lines because they have a red line around their wheels, like kind of like a white wall tire, except it's a red wall tire. Oh, I, I, I used to hide these from my brother all the time. They were his, and I would just hide them just to make them mad. But well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now, do you buy all of these toys, or do people donate them to you? No, no, no. We pay good money for these toys. Uh, we, we pay based on their collector value right now. Mm -hmm and uh, all, all kinds of different uh, prices, but you'd be surprised. Something that's as insignificant that you might consider throwing away or just giving away could be worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, and so how do you tell, like if you're rummaging around in your attic, like looking for different toys, how do you tell, if does condition matter? Condition absolutely matters, but also rarity and desirability. Those are the three things that collectors look for. What you want to do, though, is if you're even suspicious about it, don't don't think, oh, this is the, can't be worth anything. Bring it into the road show, and we'll be happy to evaluate it with you and tell you what we think. If it's not worth anything, well, you, there's no loss. Yeah. But if it's worth something, you could walk out there with a lot of money. Yeah, you never know, Absolutely. right? <laughs> and you also collect advertising items. Yes, we do. We look for vintage Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, mobile oil, gasoline, uh, you know, anything, Penn's oil from, from Pennsylvania, of course, anything that uh, promotes uh, advertising collectibles is what collectors uh, are looking for there. Are, are there any other types of collectibles that you're looking for? Well, we do dabble a little bit in comic books and non-sports cards. Those are, Ooh. those are like baseball cards. Like Garbage cards. Pail Kid? Similar, cards? yes. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit older, hopefully, but uh, <laughs> anything like a vintage Batman. Uh -huh. A uh, card or anything from the 1960s and before, uh, cowboy western toys and uh, cards are very popular with collectors too. All right, now how do people get their toys to you? They bring them to the road show. We're going to be in two different locations here in Pittsburgh and then one more location in Morgantown early next week and we'll be happy to evaluate those toys there at the show. Just come to the show. You'll take a number, have a seat, and yeah. we'll call you when it's your turn. All right, Mark. Sounds so much fun. I love all these toys. I feel like a big kid again. <laughs> all right, again, there are three vintage toy road shows happening at different Marriott hotels in our area. Uh, one by the Pittsburgh Airport, one in Pittsburgh Mills, and one in Morgantown, West Virginia. So we'll have all of that information for you at PittsburghTodayLive.com.